There is no such thing as a typical day in my job. Uh, my name is Rob Clifton. I'm an operations manager for uh, Google. I'm in charge of the uh, internal help desk that provides support for uh, Google employees internally. Hi, my name is Lisa. I work here at Google. I'm part of the team that helps support remotely our employees. Uh, so anytime an employee has an issue, they contact us and I help resolve the issue. And of course, it's different for every user. That's the cool thing about support. You're doing something different all the time. My name is Eldridge Alexander and I am a Tech Stop Connect engineer here at Google. I've been in the Army. I was field artillery for three years before I came back to Michigan and I went to Washington Community College. My name is Jody Blevins. I've always been uh, playing around with computers and technology, video games, all that kind of stuff. Uh, my name is Brian Adams, and I'm one of the corporate operations engineers that work for Google and the Ann Arbor office. First thing, I come in in the morning and I check my email. That's the big thing. We get about 13 times more email than the average business person here. If I'm on a chat shift, I jump into our chat program where we have a queue of people that have been waiting in line for uh, remote chat um, or we do phones or email tickets. I work with a lot of networking uh, within hosts. Uh, I troubleshoot them why maybe they're not talking or they're not pingable. Uh, perhaps someone uh, is doing something by hand you know using a spreadsheet application and they want to uh, stop having to do it themselves maybe find an automated way to do it. Then again a big piece about uh, of my job is sort of managing the overall operations and making sure that we're scaling effectively to meet the needs of uh, the support demands at our company. So, um, but doing that in a way that's beneficial to the company, and again, not just throwing people at a problem, but uh, finding more intelligent ways to, to problem solve. The most important skill sets for someone to have in a technical support position are you really need to be a generalist, which is basically you need to have a firm grounding in a lot of different technologies networking fundamentals, um, the basics of how operating systems work. Um, but the fundamentals are more important than the specifics, and the reason is because those specifics change, but the fundamentals, they don't change as much. How uh, computers work and uh, how different information systems work together. Uh, pinging, trace route, SSH. Uh, definitely know your command prompt and your terminals. Know all of those commands but you're also going to be using Linux command line tools, you're going to be using Active Directory control panels uh, for our Windows clients, you're going to be using some of our custom Mac software to deal with applications being pushed out to our Mac fleet. Uh, so critical thinking is a extremely important part of my work uh, because you may be facing an issue that has uh, maybe things that aren't immediately obvious that are connected together. Um, it might be a combination of working with a networking system plus a, a computer or mobile platform. Doing some critical thinking, even getting some teammates involved, helps that process. It could be a broken process or something just to improve. You want to really think at um, how to solve the problems rather than just make a band-aid and, and solve the, that symptom. What are the underlying causes when you start seeing the same issues come in? It's so important to be able to problem solve, especially in the IT field. So that's something that we really look for in, in people to join our team, is just being able to effectively troubleshoot things, problem solve, um, be able to take data and make decisions off of that data. Here we have a team of probably 20, 30 people. Uh, teamwork is vitally important. Uh, I, by myself, could never do everything to, to fix uh, or help people accomplish uh, what they're trying to in their their day to day work. Being able to collaborate, work with a diverse set of personalities, a diverse set of backgrounds is, uh, yeah, I mean it's it's very important. It's critical to to pretty much any job um, in IT uh, because one we're we're working with people for the most part. I mean we're working with technology, but we're working with technology to make it work for people. So our offices are sort of designed to um, to kind of blow up sort of the old ideals of of, of corporate uh, corporate offices. If you ever go to a Google office, you'll see we have a lot of soft space, uh, soft seating spaces for people to kind of have one-off uh, meetings. Have you know, we have micro kitchens where people can kind of have discussions with other people from other teams. Um, managers share offices together. Um, employees work in closer environments with, with lower cube walls. For this position, Google's looking for a few different things. One is obviously technical skills, but they definitely want you to have 
a variety of technical skills, definitely be a generalist. They're looking for somebody who definitely has the drive, uh, people who are willing to learn more, wanting to learn more, pretty much have a thirst for for this type of, of for IT. Because if you don't love technology, quite frankly, you're not going to stay up with all the new technology and you're not going to learn the new things that come out because um, that's a huge part of IT, right? Like IT is constantly a changing field and I think, um, at least the people that I work with, the reason that they're excited about IT and the reason, the reason I got into IT was because it is always changing. Um, you know, I couldn't imagine doing the same thing every day for the rest of my life. Um, but with IT, I get the opportunity to work in so many different things. 